We landed a, a new lander on Mars this week, and here is how you should celebrate literally everything in your life. Touchdown confirmed. So those are two scientists who, I mean, planned for years. Mm. And you see all those people in the room, and for those listening to the podcast, there are, there's a hundred people in the room all wearing like matching burgundy NASA button-ups. And it finally lands. It turns out that the, the lander has makes touchdown minutes before they have confirmation that right. it did. So you are existing in this weird limbo of not knowing whether your part of the lander actually panned out. It's like taking a pregnancy test. It's exactly like, have you worked at NASA and been <laughs> yeah. pregnant? I know, I get a <laughs> yeah. That's why they fired me. <laughs> uh, so what do you think about that That shake, the landing? What are your I, well, you know, I'm, I'm just glad that it was successful, that Insight landed successfully, because otherwise they wasted, they would have wasted all that time learning that handshake, you know? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> especially because then they'd be like, ooh, maybe we should have focused a little more of our time on trajectories or something instead of, but we got that, we nailed that handshake though. That is absolutely right. Like, if they had messed it up, like their boss would be like, I'm sorry, you absolutely wasted time. But then again, they finished their part probably months ago. I mean, well, it takes six months to get to Mars or something like that. The, you know, who knows what they were doing, and maybe they had some downtime to work on this. But I, I want to caution, and I don't know if I'm you know, speaking out of turn here a little bit, mm -hmm. but uh, any sort of elaborate handshake involving white people is dangerous yeah. territory. If you've ever seen like super, supermarket sweep, like yes. white people can't even master the two-handed high five. It's, you know, there's, there's a whiff, or they grab, and something. No. So I just, I, you know, I, I, kudos to them for getting it right, but it's it's a risky territory. You got to look at the elbow. Uh huh. That's what everyone tells you. That's how bad <laughs> look whites at are at high fiving, which is pretty much exclusively their situation. No, not a lot of people are competing for that. Is they're like, okay, let's get together and memorize. Look at the elbow. You need a like some kind of aiding device for it. Um, it turns out they did not come up with this uh, handshake slash high five situation. Marquise Goodwin and Kendrick Bourne Polly from the 49ers actually did it. And then these NASA engineers memorized their touchdown celebration, which is absolutely fantastic. And I'm very happy for them. Who wore it better? Did you ever have a secret handshake? No, but. Uh, this is a little, you know, you're actually going to learn something useful from this show, mm -hmm. which I'm sure you do every week, but you shouldn't expect that the no, week I'm don't. on. You but one thing that I discovered is that coming up with a secret handshake like this is a great way to pass the time with children at an amusement park when you're waiting in long lines. Great. My daughter and I have a whole elaborate routine that we worked on. I mean, this is before, you know, cell phones were propagated and everyone's just staying in line. Uh, but yeah. uh, it's fun to do, and then we can do it anywhere, and people are sort of semi-impressed by it, sort of. Like, we're impressed by these NASA scientists. The bar is so low. The bar is so low. <laughs>